It's something that begins in the brain far earlier than the presentation of symptoms. And that's why I really think that you're never too young or too old for that matter to begin thinking about prevention. How's it going everybody? My name is Max Lugavere. I'm the author of the New York Times best-selling book, Genius Foods, which is all about how to optimize your cognition, your brain health, your brain function with food. And today what we're gonna talk about are the top 10 foods that you can use to potentially help prevent dementia. I became obsessed with this topic when about eight years ago, my own mother started to show the very earliest symptoms of a, a very rare form of dementia, and it sent me down the rabbit hole. I became obsessed with trying to understand to the best of my ability, the kinds of foods and lifestyle modifications that I might be able to integrate into my life to help minimize my risk of ever developing any kind of dementia. So what I did was I stumbled upon 10 foods that essentially give your brain not only the building blocks that it requires to create healthy new brain cells for the entirety of your life, but also give your brain the tools that it can use to fend off against everyday stresses that can accelerate aging and potentially instigate or exacerbate neurological conditions, one of which being Alzheimer's disease. Dementia is a category of memory disorders that include Alzheimer's disease, which is the most common of them and is also the most common neurodegenerative condition. But then there are other types of dementia like Parkinson's disease dementia, vascular dementia, Lewy body dementia. So it's an umbrella term, but at the end of the day, all dementias are memory disorders and they affect people at all different ages, although mostly you'll find dementia striking at the older end of the age spectrum. Generally speaking, Alzheimer's disease, which is the most common form of dementia, affects your working memory, it affects your processing speed, and it affects your executive function, which include your ability to focus, to pay attention, to tune out distractions. And every case of dementia is different. Once you've seen one case of dementia, you've seen one case of dementia. Alzheimer's disease does not have a cure, and the treatments that are available are minimally effective. I mean, one shocking thing about Alzheimer's disease is that drug trials to find viable treatments for the condition have a 99.6% failure rate. And so that's why I firmly believe that an ounce of prevention is worth a pound of cure. Many people around the world have dementia. In the United States alone, about 5 million people are estimated to have Alzheimer's disease, and that number is expected to explode by the year 2050 when about 15 million people are projected to have Alzheimer's disease. One in three people today over the age of 85 have Alzheimer's disease, and in the future, if you make it to the age of 85, your risk might go up to one in two. It's something that begins in the brain far earlier than the presentation of symptoms, and that's why I really think that you're never too young or too old for that matter to begin thinking about prevention. If you exercise regularly, if you get good quality sleep every night, if you find a way of managing your stress, you then have a pretty good shot according to the best available evidence. There are even some foods that we can eat that can help protect your brain as it ages. So these are all the foods that I've uncovered in my research that give the brain what it needs, what it requires, what it yearns for. Over here, we can start with almonds. Now, really all nuts are healthy, but almonds in particular I've highlighted because they are a top source of dietary magnesium. Almonds also are a very rich source of vitamin E. There is a good relationship between vitamin E consumption and lower risk for developing Alzheimer's disease. When you eat almonds, you wanna make sure that they are either raw or dry roasted. Raw almonds are what's up. Here we have blueberries. Blueberries are tremendous. They are rich in anthocyanins, which gives them their beautiful blue color. And anthocyanins can also be found in blue corn, purple potatoes, and red onions. But these compounds have been validated in human observational studies to help protect the brain as it ages. Everybody tends to rejoice when I mention dark chocolate. Dark chocolate, it's a sweet treat, but it also packs a, a powerful health wallop. And that is because dark chocolate, again, is a very good source of dietary magnesium. And it also is full of what are called cocoflavanols, which have been shown to benefit cardiovascular health. What you really wanna make sure to do is to buy dark chocolate, 85% or higher. Over here we have broccoli. So I'm a big fan of cruciferous vegetables. Cruciferous vegetables are important um, for a number of reasons, but for one, they give your body the compounds that it requires to create its own endogenous, meaning created in the body, antioxidant and detoxification compounds. The other thing that cruciferous vegetables do is, aside from giving your body the ingredients that it requires to create those detox compounds, is it stimulates them. It actually contains chemicals that stimulate your body's own detoxification machinery. Up next, we have avocado. Avocado is an all-in-one brain food, and the reason for that is that it contains the highest concentration concentration of fat protecting antioxidants of any fruit or vegetable. And they're packed with carotenoids, um, which are essentially plant pigments 
The two that are found in avocados are lutein and zeaxanthin, which have been shown actually in a University of Georgia study to help boost processing speed in the brain in young and healthy people by 20%. So that's actually quite astonishing because young and healthy people are already thought to be at the peak of their cognitive prowess. So if you eat more avocados, you might in turn develop a faster performing brain. Up next, we've got wild salmon. So wild salmon provides omega-3 fatty acids that are already in their plug and play format. So when you eat a piece of wild salmon, they get sucked up into the brain and your brain uses those compounds to basically create healthy new brain cells. And there also seems to be a protective effect for people that consume fatty fish like salmon regularly. It seems to play a role in the mitigation of risk for Alzheimer's disease when part of a Mediterranean dietary pattern. Now grass-fed beef is one of my more controversial recommendations, um, but I'm a big fan of grass-fed beef for a number of reasons. Not only is it the most bioavailable source of iron, but it provides a non-trivial source of omega-3 fatty acids, which again, the brain requires for good health. And it also contains a compound called creatine, which is very important for energy production in the brain. It's also a very good source of vitamin E. In fact, grass-fed beef has three times the vitamin E of grain-fed beef. When shopping for red meat, you really wanna opt for grass-fed. Not only is it the kinder option, uh, in terms of the animal, it's definitely the more sustainable option for the planet as well. Moving on, we've got eggs. So an egg yolk literally is designed by nature to contain everything required to grow a healthy brain. In fact, it's no uh, wonder that many people refer to egg yolks as nature's multivitamin. Now, I'm a big fan of dark leafy greens in general, but here we have kale. You can substitute kale for spinach, for arugula, but research out of Rush University has found that people who eat a large bowl of dark leafy greens every single day have brains that tend to look younger by up to 11 years on cognitive tests and scans. Last but not least, we've got extra virgin olive oil. Now, extra virgin olive oil is a staple of the Mediterranean dietary pattern, adherence to which is associated with a robust risk reduction for Alzheimer's disease by up to 65%, according to Rush University research. Now, many chronic diseases today are characterized in part by having excessive chronic low-grade inflammation. And extra virgin olive oil has a compound in it that's been shown to be as anti-inflammatory as low-dose ibuprofen. So if you're a vegan or a vegetarian, I mean, one of the most obvious things that you should be doing is supplementing with vitamin B12, which is the only essential nutrient that is found exclusively in animal products. But aside from vitamin B12, generally I would say probably the strongest evidence is in favor of supplementing with algal DHA from algae, which is a replacement for the preformed EPA and DHA fat that you'll find in wild salmon or grass-fed beef or even omega-3 enriched eggs, for example. Look to prioritizing choline in your diet, which is found in a number of different vegetables. You just have to eat a lot of them to get your adequate intake for choline. And I would also probably consider supplementing with a little bit of creatine. Those are the ways that I would probably try to compensate if I were vegan or vegetarian myself. So Alzheimer's disease prevention obviously is more than just eating an almond or a blueberry here and there. It's about really embracing the lifestyle and that is optimizing your sleep, exercising more, and eating foods like what I have here in front of me. You know, again, we're just at the very tip of the iceberg in terms of understanding what causes Alzheimer's disease for each person. What we might find in the future, and what I expect to be the case, is that there might be a different cause of Alzheimer's disease for each individual patient. We each have uh, different genes, different genders, different fitness levels, different ages. And I think that, uh, you know, as we go forward into this amazing and important line of inquiry, we're gonna find answers to some of these questions. So I'm very excited. And if you'd like to support that process, more than just eating these foods, which I, I hope you do, click the link below to support the Alzheimer's Prevention Clinic and Alzheimer's Universe. And if you'd like to go even deeper with more actionable tips that you can use to optimize the way that your brain works today and decades into the future, don't forget to pick up my New York Times best-selling book, Genius Foods, which is available everywhere books are sold. I'm Max Lugavere for Goodful. Protect your brain, it's worth it.